Bro! How much boost are you running, man? I don't know. Welcome back to Subaru, where I show you how to perform routine maintenance and modifications to your vehicle. Today, we'll be able to monitor our boost pressure by installing our Pro Sport electrical boost gauge. Let's get started. For today's install, you'll need a boost gauge, something to hold it in, a boost sender unit, and everything else listed on this screen. Pop the hood. Find a place that you would like to mount the sending unit. This spot looks fantastic. Cut the hose from the bypass valve and insert the T-fitting. Connect it to the hose, then to the inline filter, more hose, then the sending unit. The black is a ground that we can just ground right here in the engine bay. The red and white wire we will route into the cabin of the car through this grommet on the firewall. I'm going to put some heat resistant wrap on the wires since they're in the engine bay. And with this on, now the wires won't melt. Hopefully. I'm going to mount my gauge right here, so I'm going to remove the stock clock with the trim tool and use the wiring harness to wire in my gauge. Take the wires that you pass through the firewall and run them all the way up into the cavity where the wiring harness is. To wire everything up, follow the diagram that's on the screen. I like to use a quick disconnect connectors kit because I find it to be a secure connection while also easy to disconnect, so I can change the wiring for different gauges around in the future. Now to avoid this airbag light, be sure to reconnect your stock clock. Then shove it somewhere in the back. Hopefully you hooked up everything properly. Let's test this out. Looks like I'm boosting about 13 to 14 pounds. Let's see what it looks like at night. And that's how you install an electronic boost gauge. If you found this useful, give this video a like and subscribe for more Subaru content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.